Hi, my name is Eloise Skinner, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to get into law for King's College London. So I studied law at Cambridge. I had an offer for King's as well, and I'm now an author, a writer, former corporate lawyer, and admissions tutor, and I have over 10 years experience assisting students to get into the course of their choice. So I'm going to talk you through a three-stage process for preparing for your application to King's College London. But the most important question to start with is, why do you want to study law? And why do you want to study law at King's College London? So those are two related questions, but one is more about the course and one is about the university itself. And both of those elements require research. So let's talk about why you want to study law. And for most people, this is a question that you might start thinking about maybe a year before you apply, maybe even further before that. Um, one of the best things you can do to figure out why you want to study law is get hold of some introductory reading. So for your specific university, for you, King's College London, there is often a first year reading list available online. And this is something the university will normally provide to their offer holders or to their very first, like first stage students who are coming into the university but it is definitely something that you can get hold of and use in your preparation. So my advice would be to Google first year reading list for law for King's College London, see if anything comes up and get hold of a few introductory books that give you a nice background about what law is and what you'll be studying on the law degree. Other things you can do at this early stage of time when you're figuring out is law for me, you can do things like visit a court. So most courts are open to the public and that can give you a really interesting experience of the justice system and how things work and the art of advocacy and the role of a barrister and solicitor. You can also stay up to date on the legal news. So you can look at publications like The Guardian, The Times, The Financial Times and look specifically about the news that is related to law. During this one year preparation time, you will also be doing things like work experience and hopefully something related to law. Again, if you're not able to achieve specific law related work experience, think about if there's any work experience that could have an aspect of law integrated into it. So for example, let's say you work at a big corporation, could you sit with the legal team for a few days? Or even if you have a part-time job, could you figure out which aspects of your job are related to law, contracts or employment matters? Could you delve into those a little bit more? The other thing you'll be thinking about during this one year preparation time is your personal statement and the things that you'll want to talk about there. So any kind of positions of responsibility that are available to you at your school, head boy, head girl, prefect, things like that can be really helpful for elevating your overall academic profile. Moving on to the six to three month preparation phase, one of the questions now you'll be thinking about is which university is right for me. And if you are interested in King's College London, the absolute best thing you can do is get on an open day. So some kind of interaction with the university is going to be your best bet for figuring out what that university offers and how it's different from other similar universities. So even if you can't attend an open day in person, which is obviously the best way to figure out is it a good cultural fit? Do you feel like you're at home here in this university? The second best thing you can do is attend a virtual open day. And there are a lot of opportunities to attend things like that. Double check on the King's College admissions website. During this six to three month period, you will also be thinking about the LNAT. So King's College London does require the LNAT for law, which means that you will need to revise for the test or brush up on your skills for this test. And if you are interested on the best way to do that, definitely check out our video on the LNAT. During this time, you'll also be thinking about things like references and the rest of your UCAS form. So definitely make sure you check in with your school about who will be writing your reference and how they can best showcase your skills. During these final months of preparation, you will be continuing your work on the LNAT, finalizing your personal statements, sorting out your UCAS and your references, and maybe revisiting some of the reasons about why law and why King's College and what you know so far about the university. It is important to note that normally there aren't interviews for King's College London, which means that you will be basically presenting on the basis of your LNAP and your personal statement, along with your predicted grades and your references. So in terms of why King's College London is different from other universities and specifically different from other London based universities. So you might also be looking at places like UCL or LSE and definitely check out our other videos on those. But a lot of people think that these universities are quite similar. And even though they are all based in London and they will all give you a fantastic law degree, and great employability options, they are slightly different in different ways. The best way to figure out how a university is different from others is obviously to attend an open day. And the second best way is to do your own research online. So if you look at the homepage for the law faculty on the King's College website, you will understand a little bit about the history of the law degree at King's College. 
and what they offer that might be slightly different from other universities. So a couple of things about studying in London. Obviously, you will be immersed in the context of a big city. So you have to figure out if that's something for you or if you prefer a more campus-based or collegiate experience that other universities in the UK might offer. But studying in London has a lot of benefits to it. So one thing is that you'll be very closely connected to the law firms and the barristers chambers in London. So for example, with King's College London, the campus is in Somerset House, which is very closely connected geographically to the Inns of Court, to the Law Society, to the Royal Courts of Justice. All of legal London is basically on your doorstep. It's important to note that King's College London does have a strong focus on law as an academic pursuit. So this is something to be distinguished from your career as a lawyer or what you want to do with your law degree in future. So make sure that when you're writing your personal statement, if your goal is King's College London, it is important to emphasize why you're interested in law as an academic study. King's College London also offers a fantastic professional skills portfolio, which can include mooting programs and legal clinics. So if this is something that feels like it aligns with your values and your interests, you might want to check out more on their website. If you feel like you would benefit from support or guidance or mentoring or assistance in your application to King's College London, definitely reach out to our team. The details are on the screen now. We have many years of supporting students into the university of their choice, including King's College London for law.